Hello dear student, how are you? I think all are you in a very uh, good position. I am your English teacher. Welcome to my second class. Yesterday, uh, 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 I should say, uh, in my previous class, I uh, took your English class on transformation and on that day we learned how to transform affirmative sentence into negative and on that day I told you some, uh, some two rules. Uh, one is the sentence containing only an alone and the sentence uh, which contains must okay i think you have learned uh, that two rules today we are going to know uh, some more rules uh, first i would like to say you look uh, on the whiteboard there are three rules the first one is every class dot dot plus main verb and then rule for every class dot dot uh, has then rule 5 as soon as dear student I am giving here example then you will be clear like this every Every one, every one has, everyone has a terrorist. Terrorist. This sentence is an example of every. If you find in a sentence every and after every, uh, it may be uh, uh, one or any other noun. Every mother, every father, every brother. And you can also find everyone, everybody. Then you will have to transform this sentence like this, I am giving here this answer. Every one has a terrorist. The negative form will be there is there is no one. There is no one, but but has a terrorist. Okay, so you will uh, just write instead of everyone, there is no, there is no one and then you will give a conjunction but and then uh, you should add all the rest of the, uh, all the rest part of the sentence, then it will be transformed uh, in the negative form. Okay, so we can say everyone hates a terrorist the answer will be there is no one but hates a terrorist if we can uh, give her another example every mother loves her child then the answer will be there is no mother but loves her child okay i think uh, you have clear now we will know another rule the rule is every plus has. In the previous sentence, there was a main verb, but here is 
uh, has, that means having. So, if uh, the example like this, uh, I should write here, every, every rose, every rose has Beauty. Okay. The answer will be as yes, here is has. So we should not use but. We should use the answer will be here. Every instead of every we uh, just write there is no rose. We will not put here but, we use here without, without, because there is has, so there is no rose without a uh, beauty. Okay, dear student, I think you have understood clearly, now we will know a uh, rule. Five. Before starting rule 5, I will give you some sense what is as soon as. As soon as refers the idea, the work which, which has been done uh, very immediately. Uh, that means you, you will get some two sentences uh, using this conjunction. It is conjunction. That means subordinate conjunction. This as soon as generally contains two sentences having two uh, past situation like this. I am giving here example as soon as we reached. As soon as we reached the school, as soon as we reached the school, here we must put here a uh, uh, comma, then I uh, will write another sentence which also have first form of verb. As soon as we reached the school, the Teacher, the teacher entered so, the classroom. Get the classroom. So here you are uh, looking two sentences, two close. As soon as we reach the school. The teacher entered the class. The uh, the two words had been occurred one after another, and just just after one word, uh, there is another word, and both sentences are in the first form. Okay, so dear student, you will bear in mind that if you use as soon as, then you should put generally it is general. Uh, Sometimes you, you may find uh, another uh, uh, type of sentences which contains uh, 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 present form of verb and sometimes future indefinite tense. Okay, generally you will uh, keep the rule that uh, as soon as uh, as soon as takes past form of verb. Okay, I think you are clear. So, rule 5 uh, will be like this. This is an example. The negative form will be no sooner. No sooner. Okay. No sooner had. Here, the verb is before subject. No sooner had. We 
placed the school then there is today in mind it is then not then no sooner have you reached the school than the teacher entered the class it is very, very simple you just uh, keep your mind that if you find an uh, apparent sentence using as soon as then you should change uh, it into negative using no sooner so dear student i think uh, i i should uh, give you uh, a simple knowledge about the uses of no sooner the meaning is same as soon as and no sooner the meaning is same that means one work will be done after uh, just after one work so no sooner uh, if you use no sooner then the uh, auxiliary verb had had will come before the subject this is difference no sooner had then subject then past participle and then rest part of the sentence and after that uh, in as soon as there was a comma but here uh, instead of comma you will use then the teacher uh, then this this sentence will be in the first form and this sentence in the past perfect form so dear student i think uh, you in the critical situation you will just Uh, contact with your studies don't take more load uh, so uh, i have given you five rules how to change sentence from affirmative to negative uh, you will just uh, practice these rules and make some examples by your own words then it will be clear to you so thank you in the next class we will meet again uh, by taking uh, some other uh, uh, rules of uh, affirmative to negative till then you will uh, keep yourself uh, safe and uh, i wish you will be remain very safely in your house so thank you see you for the next time